This is a cat question. Let me first solve it and then we'll talk about the topic person. Uh, uh, working especially questions when there are a lot of n and j and k or a lot of variables tend to get a little difficult and this is 2 raised to n minus j it's really going to be difficult so a simple way is let's assume a value right j takes values 1 2 3 4 till n so we'll assume a value for n now taking too small a value 2 3 or so on you might not be uh, you might not see the pattern so i will use a little larger value i will say let's say n is equal to 5 so the values that j can take are 1 2 3 4 5 right and the number of students in this case will become 2 raised to 5 minus j. And what are these students? These are students who have answering j or more than j wrongly. Right? So there's a, there's a, you know, a difficulty at each stage. This is j or more than j wrong. Uh, so let's just plug in the values now that we have taken a value of j and n. So j is 1, so this will become 2 raised to 4. There are 2 raised to 4 students who have answered 1 or more than 1 wrong. More than 1 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wrong. There are 5 questions only. When a j is 2, this will become uh, 5 minus 2, 2 raised to 3. These 2 raised to 3 students have answered 2 or more than 2 wrong. You see the pattern why you are working with numbers you can easily move very fast these are people who have answered three or more than three wrong two raised to one are people who have answered four or more than four wrong two raised to zero are people who have answered five or more than five wrong but what's the fund of five or more than five this is exactly five yeah let me come back to it in a moment right there are only five questions there aren't more than five questions now you could convert them into numbers also but if you want to see the pattern of what's happening it will make the question a little tougher but it will also help you learn quite a bit right so uh, now our focus is on Oh, five or more, five or more, there are no more than five questions. So can I say this is just two raised to zero students, mind you, right? This is students have answered exactly five wrong because there aren't more than five. Now, if I look at this, this says four or more than four, four or five, but then five aren't they already been counted here, right? So I could subtract. So I'm saying greater than four is a bigger set which includes these people of answering. Right? So when I subtract, I'll be getting two raised to one minus two raised to zero. These many students have answered exactly four wrong. Right? Similarly, uh, this is three or more than three. Three or 4 or 5 but 4 or 5 are already present here right so if I subtract them I'll be getting 2 square minus 2 raised to 1 these are students who have answered exactly 3 wrong right these are 2 cube minus 2 square these many students have answered exactly 2 wrong and subtract here will will give me 2 raised to 4 minus 2 cube these many students have answered exactly one question wrong so what have we just done is we have changed a greater than equal to j wrongs into exactly one wrong exactly two exactly three exactly five right and now what is that 4095 4095 is nothing but the number of wrong answers so how do i find the number of wrong answers the number of students into the number of wrongs right so i'm going to erase this just to save space okay so uh, these are the number of students who have answered one question wrong so how many questions wrong this many into one these many wrong answers these are students who have answered two two wrong so how many wrong answers these many into two so if you've got that idea it is just the number of wrong answers are these many into three these many into four these many into five and the summation of them, the total number of wrong answers is given to me, right? So if I add them, now look at when I add them, what's happening. Uh, let me add them from bottom because this is a lone uh, term, right? 
This is 5 times 2 raised to 0 plus 4 times 2 raised to 0. And uh, sorry, this is a minus, yeah, plus times minus of 4 into 2 raised to 0. So that 2 raised to 0 could be taken common, which is going to be left with 2 raised to 0. What about 2 raised to 1? Where is 2 raised to 1? There's a 4 into 2 raised to 1 and there's a minus 3 into 2 raised to 1. So that 2 raised to 1 can be taken common. 4 minus 3 will be 1. So there's a 2 raised to 1. Is that same with 2 raised to 2? Yes. 3 times 2 raised to 2 minus 2 times 2 raised to 2. So 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3 and what about the, the 2 raised to 4? 2 raised to 4 is present only once, right? There's no subtraction involved anywhere or so on. It's just counted once. So this is the total number of wrong answers and this total this is a very simple geometric uh, sum of uh, sum of powers of 2 which is always going to be the next power of 2 minus 1 so these many wrong answers we have when n was 5 the number of wrong answers is 2 raised to 5 minus 1 so we can generalize this we can generalize this for n uh, questions, for n questions, the number of wrong answers will be, total number of wrong answers will be 2 raised to n minus 1. And what are we given? Coming back to the specific question, we are given that 2 raised to n minus 1 wrong answers is 4095. Take one to the other side, 2 raised to n is 4096. We should know 4096 is 2 raised to 12. It's just two steps from 1024. 1024, 2048, 4096. So n value is 2. This is my answer. Okay.